Dear Rex, I don't actually know if it will be you who finds me like this. But I figured if anyone is going to find me, I figure it's going to be you. But I digress. Fire Suppression Department, Case, ID, 7000XP. Issue, Dr. Justine Everwood is exhibiting intense survivor's guilt over being the sole survivor of containment breach 56234167344 WTX. Knowledge. Everwood has exhibited suicidal tendencies in the past, particularly in their teenage years, and is expected to relapse into such tendencies within the following weeks. Recommended procedures. Utilize psychological personnel to encourage their suicidal tendencies and enact Lucky Hair Protocol 2%. Note, not applicable. I shouldn't have survived the breach. Everyone says I was lucky to escape with one arm intact, but I don't believe them. Fifty dead and one injured? Please. There's nothing lucky about knowing I should have died, but didn't. Fire Suppression Department, Case ID, 7000XP. Update. Lucky here protocol has worked as predicted. Everwood is expected to attempt suicide sometime this week. As per Lucky here protocol, SCP-7000 has been left at an easily accessible location to Everwood under the guise of it being a non-anomalous firearm left behind by a careless security guard. I shouldn't have survived that breach. Everyone says I was lucky to escape with one arm intact, but I don't believe them. Fifty dead and one injured? Please, there's nothing lucky about knowing I should have died but didn't. I should have died like the rest of them. I can't live with this guilt any longer. Item number SCP-7000 Optic Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-7000 is to be kept in a standard anomalous object lockbox in Site-55. Fire Suppression Department personnel are permitted unrestricted access to the object. Description SCP-7000 is a standard Beretta 902 semi-automatic pistol. When fired at a human subject, SCP-7000's mechanism will jam and fail to fire regardless of the status of the object. SCP-7000 will fire as normal when aimed at any other target. Additionally, SCP-7000 will not fire if doing so would result in it damaging a human subject. Thank you for working so hard for me, seeing as you're the most hard-working person in our department. I'm confident your promotion will be swift. But more importantly, thank you for your friendship. You make working here that much more fun. Lucky Here Protocol Overview Lucky Here Protocol's stated purpose is the prevention of unnecessary loss in suicidal personnel. This is achieved by informing the target personnel of their overwhelmingly good fortune. The process involved showing the target personnel affection and positive affirmations while ensuring the downplay their negative emotions as fruitless. This results in the target personnel feeling more pleased with life in 60% of cases. 38% of further cases require a combination of more intense therapeutic efforts as well as medication. The fire suppression department utilizes a unique drug to further rehabilitate personnel who fell into this bracket of lucky hair protocol. The final 2% of personnel who fall into lucky hair protocol require more direct measures. They will often require overwhelming evidence of their good fortune, and as such, the use of anomalies have been approved to improve morale. Anomalies approved for use in Lucky Hill Protocol's 2% procedures 
are typically unassuming in appearance and can be mistaken for non-anonymous objects, which lends the project's credibility. So long, and thanks for all the fish, I think. J. Everwood Fire Suppression Department Case ID 7000XP Update Everwood was found in the office by a passing guard at approximately zero hours on the 26th of July, 2022. After hearing shots coming from the direction, SCP-7000 was recovered by disguised guard personnel. Everwood was unharmed and is currently undergoing extensive psychotherapy treatment with Dr. Von Thurman. They are expected to enter the 38th percentage of cases within the next three weeks. This case is considered resolved.